iTunes was first introduced 13 years ago, back in January of 2001, and since then it's evolved with each release of the software. Now that the iTunes 12 beta has been released for developers, what's Apple changed to keep iTunes feeling new and exciting? Well, to coincide with OS X Yosemite's new flat, translucent and blurry design language, iTunes has been blessed with a sleek new design, with a few new information based changes along with a much more pleasing iTunes icon. For example, the much loved sidebar is no more, except for when you press the playlist button. Instead, it's been replaced with a more visual, icon based navigation menu, which I personally prefer. But long time users of iTunes who may prefer the traditional approach will have to learn to love it. The toggle between your library and the iTunes store has been replaced with a horizontal list of options, which show music, films and TV shows, with the fourth icon representing everything else such as podcasts, apps and audiobooks. Then there's a redesigned Get Info window, which looks a lot less daunting to Mac beginners, along with a much cleaner playlist layout. There's also the addition of Family Sharing Program which allows six family members to share all of their music, films and apps, and so on, as long as all six family members use the same credit card. Despite the whole iTunes app being redesigned, the online store itself hasn't been touched at all. Well, yet. But I'm sure that's something we are going to see within the next few betas. iTunes 12 and OS 10 Yosemite are available to download to developers and the beta seed program right now, and will be officially released this fall. Well, there you have it, iTunes 12 in action. But we want to know what you think. Is it enough for Apple to redesign the interface? Maybe it's left you wanting more. Let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. It only takes a second and it really helps us out. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac 7 days a week. I'll see you next time.